Hi everyone, I am Ravi Handa, founder of the website handagafanda.com. Welcome to another solved example on data interpretation. Five vendors are being considered for a service. The evaluation committee evaluated each vendor on six aspects, cost, customer service, features, quality, reach and reliability. Each of these evaluations are done on a scale of 0 to 100 where 0 is the worst and 100 is perfect. The evaluation scores on these aspects are shown on the radar chart. So this is the chart. Vendor 1 obtains a score of 52 on reliability. So if you look at reliability, this is the spectrum of reliability. And in this spectrum of uh, reliability, vendor 1 has scored 52. So vendor 1 is this one dot 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 is scored 52. So yes, it's a little above 50. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This is the line for 50, little above that, 60, 70, 80, and 90. So 90 is essentially the maximum that anyone has scored anywhere. We don't have the lines for 100. Vendor 2 obtains a score of 45 on features. Let's check that as well. So features, vendor 2 is this orange dashed line. So this one, so 10, 20, 30, 40, and above 40 is this, it's below 50, 45, 46. Yes, it's exactly in the middle. So this one also fits. Vendor 3 obtains a score of 90 on cost. So this one is 90 on cost for vendor 3. So this is how you're supposed to read the radar chart. Now, when you have to solve questions for this, one idea is that you make it in everything into a table. So you have cost, reliability and all those on one side, vendor 1, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5 on the other side and you write down all the data. That would be a sure shot way to do this question but that will also be a sure shot way to waste a lot of your time and you should not do that. You should look at the questions and then decide what needs to be done. You should look at the question and only note down the data that is relevant for you. So let's check. On which aspect is the median score of the five vendors the least? So we need to check the median scores. Now, we don't need to check the median scores for all six categories, but only for these four. So in reliability, what is the median? Median is the middle value. So reliability, this is max, second and third. Third value is this dotted line which for vendor one, which is 52. We were given this value in the question itself. So for reliability, it is 52. Let's look at the value for quality. For quality, we have this black point. So this is 90, 80, 70, and 60. It's a little above 60. Let me keep that as 61. For customer service, for customer service, one, two, three. So this is the third one. That is 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. It is exactly 50 for customer service. And what is the value for cost? 90, 80 and a little below that. So it's somewhere in the 70s. Let me say it is 76. Which of these is the minimum? The minimum is for customer service, which is at 50. A vendor's final score is the average of their scores on all six aspects. Which vendor has the highest final score? So basically, whichever one is the biggest, that is going to be the highest average. So let's check. Again, we will not check for all of them. We will only check for one, two, three, and four. So let's compare. Now, very clearly, vendor four is the first one that I can eliminate. Please note, this is very low in 20s, least here, least here, least here. In three aspects, vendor four is the least. So vendor four is not going to be my answer. Now, comparing among one, two, and three. So let's look at one. So we have dotted one, this is low, this is low. In one and three, three cost looks as the biggest. So this is highest here, this is highest here. Then in this case, it is 20 lesser than the pink line. It is 10 lesser here. So it is lesser by 30. Here it is more, these are more or less equal. So it is more by 20 here, more by 30 here, more by 15 here. But when it is less, it is less only by 10 and 20. So it is less by 30 and that gets covered up only in reliability itself. So definitely if I'm comparing one and three, three is going to win 
so one is ruled out and if i compare two and three what happens then so two is this uh, dashed line so lesser hugely lesser on reliability again less only here it overtakes three only in quality two overtakes three otherwise it is always beaten by vendor three so vendor three clearly beats two on one two three four five aspects it loses only on one so overall vendor three is going to win this battle as well which means vendor two is also ruled out and vendor three is going to be my answer here so once again to calculate this there was no need to find out the actual values but you could just compare it was very easy to eliminate vendor four because vendor four was very low on three accounts it was very easy to eliminate vendor two when compared with vendor three because in five aspects vendor three won you needed a little bit more effort to compare one and three but even in those three comes out as the winner and three will be your answer here question three says list all the vendors who are among the top two scorers on maximum number of aspects so let's check them one by one the first vendor is in top two in how many fields first vendor is dot 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 he is in top two not in cost not in reliability in reach quality and customer service so it is reach quality and customer service how about the second one second one is this dotted line it is in top two in cost not here not here in quality not here and not here so two is cost and quality how about three three is in top two in one cost then reliability not here not here not here not here so it is only in cost and reliability so it is also twice how about vendor four vendor four this line so it is top here one two then not at top not at top not at top not at top two so it was only twice in features and customer service this is features and customer service and finally we have vendor five vendor five is the blue dotted line so not in top two here reliability yes reach yes and features yes so reliability reach and features so in three of them it is in top two so one is in top two in three of them reach quality and customer service five is in top two in three of them reliability reach and features so one and five are the ones which are the top two scorers on maximum number of aspects so they are actually in three aspects they are in one and two question four list all the vendors who are among the top three vendors on all six aspects so let's check is vendor one in the top three on all of them vendor one is this dot 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 line if you look at features it is the last one it is not in the top three so vendor one is not a part of my answer so we are only left with vendor three let's check for that vendor three is topper in cost topper in reliability it is third in reach so this fits it is third in quality so this fits it is third in features also so features also fits and it is third in customer service also so customer service also fits so it is first in two of them and third in the remaining four but it is indeed in top three in all of them making vendor three as my answer here once again these questions can be time consuming if you are not familiar with approximations if you are not familiar with interpreting new types of charts so if you are doing this type of a radar chart for the first time in the exam it is best to skip this however if you have practiced enough questions on charts like these then you should attempt this in the exam thank you please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of future videos